Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> peanut butter in any time. Peanut butter in any time. <laughs>we got to look out of a sunlight last night starlight what is it called where are we going we got water and we are <laughs> headed to kayak and, and hike see, and hike and see the petroglyphs <laughs> pictures on the walls yeah the pictures on the walls look at that you can see the rain cloud over there are you excited i am so excited phones are in bags so i'm testing to see if this looks good it's probably not gonna look good at all <laughs> Our host is really nice. What's your name? Um, I think the case definitely makes it very blurry. blurry. These don't work that good. This is so different though from kayaking in New York. So that mean, does that mean they're older then? Likely, yeah. So they're so cool. Right there, oh, yeah. I don't know if you can kind of yeah. see, it's definitely more faint and right there yeah. too. But those are certainly carved out at some point. The ones here, a lot of the footprint ones, uh -huh. one of the, one of the, um, what's the right word, interpretations that I've heard for these, not just from guides, but from, you know, it's kind of a word of mouth thing, so yeah. I'm not sure exactly where it is, but the number of people in a household. Oh, oh. So, you know, this is, represents a family and like having the number of toes or claws. Uh -huh. Yeah, the number of people. Yeah, that would representing be so the people in a tribe. Wow. And the different families, those are all there. But you can see how this, this specific slope, um, And your question about the angle, really good one. And it made me remember another aspect of like with the landscape seeing if you look over to the left over here, you see all those ridges that yep. almost look like torn paper. Yep. And those are just from different upthrust, the tectonic plates, you know, as what happens to form mountains normally, but you can just see them so clearly because they probably happened at different ages, different times in the earth's history. This area is really cool. That's awesome. It's literally a person. And right? you can see the ring around the yeah. head. Wow. Often, so there's a couple different things that come to mind when you see that ring. Sometimes it's like demonstrating importance, mm -hmm. halo, mm -hmm. or light God, of some yep. sort, and headdresses within mm -hmm. that cool. culture also represented some of those things, some of the importance, the glory, the, you know, those things. Hmm. This within Navajo, so these weren't, we don't think, researchers don't think that it was Navajo that um, carved these specific petroglyphs, but within the Navajo culture, this is a medicine wheel, oh. and with those four sections, uh -huh. it represents like a balance of elements, oh. and um, healing, and some of the, like, nature and purpose of people, and how to bring harmony between people and different elements That's amazing. and is super important to them in many spiritual and medicinal mm -hmm. um, medicinal aspects of life. Where are we going? Howdy ho! <laughs> we are going to Bryce Canyon. We just got done at What's our... Oh um, yeah. Better. Headed to Bryce Canyon. We just got done with our paddle tour. Hey, where? What is it called? Um, Quail, Quail, Quail Creek. And we cliff jumped. Yep. 
Um, and the people were really nice there? Yeah, really, really nice. The girl, our tour guide was amazing. Morgan, Megan, something? Megan, I think. And we jumped off a 20 foot cliff. And. I'm surprised you did it. it was, Very proud. It was pretty scary. <laughs> And then we saw some petroglyphs. Those were cool. They were really cool. They were, they were carved into the stone. Just let in my dress. Air dry. Look at the freaking line. That's crazy. This is crazy. She's scared. <laughs> Hard to believe it's real. It's just so hard not to stop every two seconds and take pictures and videos. We've made it. Every angle looks crazy, and there's a thunderstorm chasing us. Better than Zion? Better than Zion. <laughs> I agree. But Sorry, Zion Merritt. Was, yeah, cool. The fact that it's thunderstorming, though, is so much cooler. Yeah, and light, we saw freaking lightning over there. Did you have fun? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we did. We're done now, and it just started raining. Now I'm going to go back to our Airbnb, eat some spicy nudes, and go sleep. And go in the hot tub again. We just left the car. Right. That's what it's doing. Oh my god. <laughs> it was just pouring and now the sun's shining. It's beautiful out. get murdered. <laughs> so cool. In an unfinished bathroom. We just got spiked. <laughs> this is where we're staying though. It's really cool. There's a shooting range right there. I want to do that. 
Everything here is freaking spiky. What do you think? This is so awesome. <laughs> Don't fall. It's too early for this. <laughs> Where are we going? To see dinosaur tracks. Yeah, and two arches, <laughs> and two canyon lands, and two Moab. We've got a lot on the agenda today. It's our last uh, not travel day here, and we're gonna make the most of it. This road is very bumpy. It's gonna take us like 20 minutes to get down this road, and then about 40 to get to arches. Also, we made nice friends yesterday. They were so nice. From Dallas, Texas. We got to our Airbnb at the same time as them, and they started talking to us, and then they invited us over to their little cave, cave <laughs> for um, salmon, potatoes, and Caesar salad. Because we didn't have any food. <laughs> because we did not go grocery shopping before heading up this bumpy, bumpy road. But they were really, really nice and inclusive. Yeah, we they gave us food. We sat us at a fire with them, and they were so nice. And we talked to them, and we learned all about Texas. And they just got married, so they told us all about their wedding. And they were really good. nice. Yeah. Now we have friends in Dallas. Yeah, it was a good little night in at our cave. We had a fire and some tequila and a joint. Yep. <laughs> it was a good time. So thanks, Maddie and Elliot. Thank you, Maddie and Elliot. <laughs> dinosaur train. We're going to see the dinosaur. <laughs> and for Nick, this is also where the poison spider trail is. If I can find it. The off-roading trail is here too, up that way. We're made by three-toed meat-eating dinosaurs. And this is for dad if you want to read it, since you want to read all of these things. <laughs> dad, read that. Here you go, Dad, you can read that, and that, and that. <laughs> Nick, the Jeep trail. Jeez. You got it. <laughs> I did see it was a little bit of climbing. This way. Where? Look at up there. Where? On that big rock. <gasps> See the right? Yeah. See them right there? Crap. Freaking dinosaur was there. And you don't think they're real. <laughs> Look how big this thing is. That thing would squash me. Wow. <laughs> okay, paleontologist Ree, tell us what you found. I found this dinosaur trap. And that dinosaur track, and that dinosaur track. And what are the animal are they from? Dinosaur. <laughs> what kind of dinosaur? Like tarantulosaurus. <laughs> tarantulosaurus. <laughs> and it's bigger than the human hand. Bigger than your hand. <laughs> We're hiking before the sun is even up. Look at us go. And there's a Kia. I think we should take the Kia on the off-road trail. One like and I'll do it. And then people try to make their own. Yeah. Just sad. Oh. But what about this? Is this one you think? This real big one? I don't know. That looks like a lotion. I don't know. Look at step that back. Step back and look at this. You can see him clear on the camera. Oh. Holy crap. Look at all those though. Oh my gosh, the squiggle. Uh, that is aliens. If you tell me that's not aliens. We found aliens. There's a guy with a bow and arrow shooting a ram and a monster. Did you like it? Now you want to go to the off-road trail? Off -road trail? Yeah. Let's go. And the key is there. <laughs> That'd be so fun. Ray's grumpy. No, I am not. <laughs> <laughs> we made it to Arches. Yeah, the trail's not a lot. <laughs> Please tell me what you just said. <laughs> 
Why are those sand dunes that are those petrified dunes? The petrified dunes. Why are they not as tall as the rest? Because <laughs> they're too scared. What do you they're mean? They're petrified. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that funny? You don't know what petrified means? <laughs> yeah, it means you're really scared. <laughs> All my videos are just you looking at things. <laughs> wow. We should have a wow counter or a holy crap counter. <laughs> wow. 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 <laughs> Doesn't even do it justice how big it actually is. Wow. 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 That'd be great, yeah. Take a picture of both of these when you're up there. I didn't get video of you climbing, but we got pictures. Yeah. When should I put them in the video? Right now. <laughs> right now. We walked up a hill for like a mile. Uh, oh, <laughs> that little tiny guy over there. <laughs> We went all the way back there to get service for her TikTok. So make sure you watch it. That is awesome. This is really, really cool. It's legit sand. Hard to walk in. Yep. <laughs> That's our last arch, then we're going to Moab to get food because I'm starving. And we haven't had a real meal this whole time. Oh, it's like crazy. Do you like it? Yeah, that looks cool. I'm a little bit scared over there. <laughs> Look at me. It's like not even attached over there all the way. That view though. There's our last lookout point. We didn't record very much at what was that Canyonlands? Yeah. We're tired. Okay. Here's the last lookout. Now we're gonna go do some stargazing. Or get food and stargazing. And then sleep and then home. Yep. It's been an <laughs> awesome trip. It's been fun. Mm -hmm.